pick colors for certain areas in your house, you have to be cognizant of what the end use is. Um, oftentimes, I've been asked about colors for children's room, and everybody thinks they should be primary colors. If you've ever had children, and I have, um, the last thing I want to do is hype up the kids. <laughs> you want them to sleep. Put the bright colors in their playrooms, but you shouldn't put them in their bedrooms if you want them to sleep. I recommend they use softer colors for bedrooms. Um, and the same might be true for an adult bedroom. You want a romantic, or do you want it more docile? Do you want it more cocooning? What particular area do you want to go? Um, kitchens are uh, very dependent on cabinet colors and tile and the appliances, but those are changing too. I'm seeing colors being used in areas they were never used in before. For example, I'm seeing a lot of plum and dusty plum and, and lavender shades used in the kitchens where they never used to, to ever put that color in a kitchen. Um, another reason why those manufacturers have to stick with things that are more neutral so you can change the colors. Um, you have colors that stimulate your appetite um, and you might want to use smaller amounts of it, but that's true for dining rooms. Um, you know, there, there are really no hard, fast rules. If you like the color, then use it. Um, people ask me about what is the hot color trend, and I know that's interesting information, but if you don't like that color, then don't use it. You have to put in your home what you like. And there's lots of possibilities, fortunately, with every product we buy, they come in a lot of colors. You have to be a little more careful on exteriors for two reasons. Number one, because it's there for everyone to see. You can't mess it up. But the other reason being is that you, you don't want that color trend to die because you don't want to repaint your house. That's a big deal. So you have to make sure it fits in the environment. So does it fit the style of the home? Does it go with the roof color? Does it go with the stone color? Um, many of my clients are building products and I have to watch these particular things that happen. Those colors have to last for 40 years in many cases. So obviously I can't get real trendy with the ones that last a long time, but you can have what I call house jewelry, which is your shutters and your front door. That's where you can put the trendy colors. So if you work with all the neutrals around that and put, a, for example, bright red door or plum shutters or something like that, then that can be your statement. But don't do it with the whole house. Um, obviously you can do that if you have Victorians, these painted ladies that are beautiful combinations of colors that are very reminiscent of the Victorian times. They can pull that off, but oftentimes it doesn't, you can't pull that off on a ranch, a California ranch type home. So you have to be careful whether it fits the uh, particular style of that home.